Today we're going to be reviewing the Echo PAS 280 Pro Attachment Power Tool. Mud, dirt, or snow, this thing is a beast. I'm going to go over all the details, the good, the bad, and in between. It's like Echo Christmas. <laughs> yes, it is. What is that? Holy crap. Let's check it out. We got a chainsaw. We got a pro paddle, which hooks up to a power head. This is for removing snow, cleaning up parking lots. Okay. Pro sweep. We also have the, the needle version of it. Got to get the uh, Echo Timber Wolf down on the bottom. Chainsaw, which goes. We're going to put that head to head against the farm steel, the steel farm boss. That is sweet. All right. So this thing is a beast. And technically, you're supposed to run it like this with the handle up and everything pushing away from you. But for sweeping along garages, I flip it upside down and I can back drag everything away. It's amazing. I can get right up to the garage door, right up to the buildings, and I don't damage anything. So let's get this thing running and I'm going to show you that. Got it upside down. Because it's upside down, I'm actually pulling all the debris away from the garage door. Now this is the broom attachment or the needle wheel attachment, whatever you want to call it. It's really not needles, it's really more like a stiff bristled broom. And I can put it right up to that soft vinyl garage door and it won't chip the paint away. This attachment is absolutely phenomenal to get into those tight places that you otherwise just couldn't get clean. Now I would not attempt to do this with the pro paddle attachment. That's more abrasive, that's more aggressive. That actually gets down in there and really skims the material away where this is really a nice way of doing it and pulling everything out. If I flip that upside down, I'd be dumping everything right into that garage door. That's why it's important to make sure that you have it upside down if you're trying to pull away. So if I flip that around the other way, all that snow debris would be pelting that door and causing potential damage. I can put this Pro Sweep attachment right on the vinyl door and it has absolutely no issue. And I love the fact that you can see where it's pelting me with debris. That's why Echo probably doesn't recommend you run it upside down. But I'll tell you straight up, if you're trying to get something done, accomplished, and you want to pull stuff away, and you can't get in there any other way, this is the tool for you. Yes, you're going to be messy like I am, but That's it gets upside the job down. done. It's awesome to pull back away from structures. That's a metal garage door. There's absolutely no damage to this garage door at all because these aren't wire brooms. This is no different than a uh, regular broom. And it just pulls it away. Absolutely love this thing for working around sensitive structures. You can't do that with a snowblower. I'm going to run it right over the top of this extension cord. I want to see if it tears it up. Now I'm trying, I'm doing this one handed videotaping in one hand and running the power broom in another. And what I found a nice way of running this power broom is let the weight of the machine do the work itself. And you can see right here, this power broom has no effect on this extension cord, but yet it's still able to get right down and get all the debris cleaned up. Now we're going to use the pro paddle attachment to clean up both mud, dirt, debris, and snow. And from our experience running the pro paddle attachment, it is more aggressive than the pro sweep attachment. Let's put it this way. I didn't feel comfortable putting this tool up against somebody's garage door to see how it would hold up. After you get used to it, you can see in this shot where Tim is running it with one hand. Echo probably doesn't like me saying that, but it works. The weight of the machine is ideally balanced to help get it just enough down pressure. You can see that it gets it all of that soil off the sidewalk. 
Now right here, what you can see is that I'm using the pro paddle attachment to scrape ice off the driveway. I swear to God, I think this is the cleanest my driveway's ever been. So that didn't seem like a tough enough test, I decided to take the pro paddle right into the thickest part of the ice and see what it could do. It pulled leaves off my driveway that had been stuck there for four months. Long story short, I wish I would have gotten one of these tools a long time ago. It would have saved me ow endless hours on my job sites, cleaning streets, sweeping up at the end of a project. I would compare this to a broom attachment on the front of a Bobcat. Yes, the broom attachment has a much wider surface area, but you're also going to spend $4,000 for a broom attachment on a Bobcat versus this thing, which you can throw in the back of a pickup truck, a car, an SUV, get it out to a site, and boom, be in business, get your job site cleaned up, get your streets swept, get your sidewalks swept, and be down the road. You don't need to lug a Bobcat out to a site. This thing is versatile, flexible. I absolutely love this tool, but there are some drawbacks. Let's go over them. All right, I gotta ask you, what do you think of the weight of that machine? It's heavy, but it's worth it for all the it's work it gets done. Man, that is that is way heavier than a weed whip. I know it looks like a weed whip. I'd say that's twice as heavy, isn't it? Like yeah. if you had to if you had to strap that on all day long, you'd be you'd either be a wore out or be b you'd be one beefy dude. This is my first time ever using it, so I'm sure there's a I mean, here, look at it. I wonder if there's a strap that goes on it. Yeah, you get a strap on it, but what I'm saying is they built this thing like a beast. Oh, I've, yeah, I've used it and it's heavy. It's yeah. heavy duty. I tell you right there, what you just cleaned up, was that about 10 minutes worth of work? Yeah, sure. How long do yeah. you think that'd take us with a shovel? Probably about a half hour. I'd say at least a half hour. Yeah. If, if, if we wanted to have the same results that that has. But if you wanted to shovel it and then sweep it, you still probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't be as... It can take a lot longer than probably a half hour. Well, how long 45, you think... 45 minutes, shovel it and sweep it. Do you want to change your mind again? Yeah, I've kind of flipped <laughs> off. I don't know, it, it, it did a good job. I think I found my new favorite hand tool. <laughs>